Hello oh, there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode here on Past t shirt Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. We are here playing some Marvel Heroes Omega. Today we're actually taking part of the Age of Apocalypse event that has actually just been part of the 1.4 update recently. So we're going to play as Kitty Pride and we're going to run through the event materials. I have not done this yet. This is my first run. So I'm looking forward to seeing what will happen in it and whether or not I'll wipe on it. But <laughs> we'll see what the crack is. So what you have to do is just go and talk to Archangel here, and he'll start the whole thing off. Do not call me Warren, except that I am only Archangel now. Wow, I don't call him Warren? <laughs> but Warren! <laughs> his name's not Warren! <laughs> uh, his name's not Warren? His name's not Warren? I thought his name was Warren. Kitty Pride, I tried to keep this brief. Apocalypse followers, Clan Nakaba, managed to clone four of our X-Men with the help of Mr. Sinister. Not only that, but these do... Clones are imbued with the Apocalypse's malevolent energy and have taken their place beside him as his four horsemen. You must prevent them from completing Apocalypse's resurrection. His burial site is in Egypt, and the Quinjet is ready for departure. That's rock and roll? <laughs> Straight into it, like? Yeah? Um, My mind has never been more clear. Get on the jet and find it's the horsemen. Alright, so I can, uh, so it's just an event. I just have to go to it. I thought those guys were gonna like start up like a story. Uh, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, no, we're not going there. We're going to, uh, is it an operation or is it an event? It's an event! We're going to Northern Egypt. Um, we're doing it on Heroic because I haven't actually done anything further with, uh, Kitty. I kind of wish I had done Super Heroic at least for her, but let's see. Approximately 30 minutes, I'm about <laughs> it. I did, I was saying before we actually started this uh, video that they were actually just about to kill the servers. So, um, hopefully we can get this done in time before it all closes up for the night. For updates. Uh, Venom is a fast character. Oh, wait, what the hell? Are we literally just gonna air jump out of the top, out of the back of the ship? Okay. That's made 5.5 seconds of free fall. Alright, <laughs> let's give it a try. I'm liking this. Today, you cease to is this just a boss rush? Awesome! <laughs> ah. Oh shit! Oh damn, she can wipe you out with that fucking poison. Wow, that's kind of fast. Yeah, let's jump down there and keep ourselves healing. Damn. I did not expect it to actually be that fast. Oh, dude. <laughs> because of the way Kitty fights, she teleported right in front of that. <laughs> Alright, maybe not a good choice. Maybe not a good choice of character to be doing this. This is actually like a... I don't know, she's not so much a too good to kill person. Alright, that well, hasn't worked out too badly so far. Yeah, I get away from poison. <laughs> Right, I was wondering there, like, I'm a little bit out of touch with my, um, Kitty Pride. I was like, that was a- oh, this really is just a boss rush? Alright. Oh, the ballistas are there? <laughs> Okay, we're on to another one then. I'm curious to know is this actually literally going to be just I'm fighting all four. I thought there was going to be something a little bit more than just a four person boss rush. <laughs> no way, Jose. Think fast. Said I can't. 
kill him in his incorporeal form. But I'm just wondering, what can I actually attack? <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Alright, that's her down. Congratulations, you got me really mad. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is she running here to put a fence? Cheek of her. Screw this. You crossed the line and we know Sorry, Apocalypse, you going back to sleep now. <laughs> Let's close that little pyramid up and you can stay there for the rest of your days. So that was it. Well done, Kitty Pride. After your chance to recover, please speak with me back here in Avenger Star. All right, sure enough, I will. Um, <laughs> this is like that. That this doesn't feel like a, a massive event. Oh, whoa, Jesus Christ! Okay, <laughs> let's see what all got picked up there. A lot of danger room stuff. A couple. Of, um, I think that was on a, a actual like, high level. This might be worth running just for like a few interesting bits and pieces. Just, um, just gear-wise, let's see. Let's see what we actually got new in it. Uh, gloves not as good as we have. Not as good as we have. Yeah, better than we had. Mm, what's the trade-off in the health? Uh, I think I prefer the actual health on hit anyway because she's actually a pretty good hard hitter and you can heal by while being invincible for a little while. Increase mask. New artifact. Infinite Amulet of Queox. Plus two to fighting. Ooh. Uh, damage rating to signature powers. Two to two to summon powers. Four, three, one. That's actually not too bad. That's a really good one for magic, actually, if you think about it. And advanced banner tech accelerator. Did I get that from this drop? I think I have my pockets completely empty, so I think all of these are actually from the this, this same drop. Um, yeah. The artifacts. Oh, yes. Um, I actually have relics on the end, actually, with the anyway. Uh, was there any catalyst in there? Yeah, there was. Um, hmm. XP. More credits per drop. Credits per drop, just. Uh, I think I actually prefer that one, just because it's actual... The, um... Didn't get any medallion from any of those characters. Uh, that was kind of surprising. No, I didn't know you could get on that character. And what was the pickups? Yeah, danger room scenarios. Uh, in facility. Uh, not the, doesn't seem to be that much of like an interesting drop from that run. I mean, I'm not massively surprised or expected much more, but we'll see if there's anything actually got ta from talking to Archangel afterwards. That was super short. I really thought this was going to be a like a, a mission rather than actually a single combat. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that actually, to be honest. It's just a four. It's a four boss rush. Hey, Tony, so for a maybe it might be worth. It might be a good rush, a good way to power level EXP because if I just use quick ways to take down bosses, do it, run through it a few times, I can actually level up a character pretty easily. Except that I am only Archangel now. He quelled Apocalypse's efforts to walk the earth. His four horsemen, clones created by Apocalypse's followers, are no more. As you know, this peace can only last so long. I hope you will stand at my side once again. If I should beckon your fight, yeah. fight well, Kitty Pride. Right. That's it. Now I'm forward. Huh. That was pretty disappointing. Uh. Right, guys. That was the Age of Apocalypse event. That's that, that's all. That's all there was to it, really. Um. <laughs> I honestly thought there was no more way, to the actual uh, event that was going on. I mean, the character designs are cool. I'm liking the new uh, Omega reasons, or the Omega versions of those characters. Uh, we'll be covering more detail on those very, very soon. We'll actually be doing all four characters at, at an Omega run from level 1 to level 60. 
just um, at least let Omega level one. Well, actually, like we'll, I'll swap each of the characters across to Omega, and I'll do a full one to sixty run with the characters and their new powers, and probably with their new costumes on. We'll do that at some point during this week, and uh, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming up on the channel as always. Otherwise, um, <laughs> we've we've, did, we've done a loot box for uh, Age of Apocalypse, and like uh, just I just pointed out on Matrix of Unbinding. Uh, we got one Matrix of Unbinding in the last one, so I'm kind of glad that they're changing their loot tables over it after the complaints I've made. But we'll be doing another 25 loot boxes very shortly. Uh, we're going to be doing 25 Marvelous loot boxes because the uh, they've changed the costume loadouts that are actually inside those, and I want to see what the drop rates are in them. And the other side of it is that we're going to be doing a, probably another Age of Apocalypse set, if I get the opportunity to do so, because uh, they had it was a very, very good drop rate. Uh, it was 12 out of the 25 drop costumes, and I was kind of impressed. I was actually I was impressed that that's actually that's reasonable numbers, and I don't know if that actually was because it was the, that was the first night of the event, and there might be a little bit of tweak going on. So after like this server is going to go down shortly after this update, I'm going to do it again to see did they tweak it again to kind of change the odds a little bit just out of curiosity because anytime there's an update, it's worth worth looking at. Uh, we've got all this stuff to talk about on the channel uh, for Marvel Heroes Omega as well because like we've, this is the 1.4 update. There's a lot of other material changed, uh, character changes and such. Uh, if anybody has any thoughts or ideas or things that actually should be like highlighted that are really really top notes of interest rather than actually just peeling through like the small changes that have been gone through, make sure to say it in the comments below this video or actually um, catch hold of me on the Discord or any of the other ways that we have set up. There's a whole list of things usually underneath the video that you can do as you get in touch with me or we can continue talking. <laughs> so as I was worried about running out of time, it took me less than 10 minutes to actually do this whole fucking thing. So um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves uh, watching me fight four bosses. It wasn't that big of a deal. I want to say thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.